Today, I will be talking about the differences between the Doc Martens 1460s and the Jadens. I have the Made in England's 1460s and I have the Vegan Jadens. When it comes to appearances, they're very similar. The upper, they're both AI boots. Literally, they look the same when it comes to the upper. The biggest difference is on the Jadens. They have a zipper on the side and then also, obviously, the different types of soles. Both are air cushion soles, but personally, I noticed that there's a slight difference between the two. Personally, I think is because of the thickness of the soles. When it comes to the 1460s, the original soles, those they're easier to have that bouncy sole and it works for that. But when it comes to the Jadens, for some reason, I think since it's so thick, it's hard to even notice that there is that bouncy sole. Also, once you look at both soles, you can tell that the Jadens, they're like the commando style sole, which is very common for other boots, but they still have the air cushion sole design to it too. It's a slight difference. I'm pretty sure a lot of people won't notice it. If you have both of these, please comment down your experience. Maybe it might be me. Maybe other people see the difference or feel the difference too. I am not saying that the Jadens are uncomfortable, but when you compare it to the 1460s, the regular ones, there's a slight difference. For example, this is why I normally see people that the 1460s are like their everyday shoes. I normally don't see individuals that wear the Jadens as their everyday shoes. I'm sure somebody's gonna comment down, the Jadens are their everyday shoes. It always happens. Another thing to think about is breaking into these Doc Martens. When it comes to breaking into Doc Martens, the biggest thing that I always tell people, it depends on the type of leather that you get. For example, the smooth leather is one of the hardest leathers to break into. While on the opposite end of the spectrum, you have the soft leathers. For example, the Pasco leather, which is usually Virginia leather, the Napper leather, or even the Piso leather. And you also have the vegan leather, which is not leather, it's, it's synthetic. So all of that can play a big role in how long it takes for you to break into your Doc Martens. I have seen a lot of people struggle more with the Jadens trying to break into them simply because of how thick the sole is. It's like you have to break into two different things at the same time, if you understand. Just you have to learn how to walk with the Jadens or it changes your walking pattern just a little bit. It's a slight difference, which I think if you have like the smooth leather, you might struggle with breaking into them because it's hard for you to make the leather soft. You know, it's hard for you to hit that point where the boots get very comfortable because your walking pattern might change slightly. But I think personally for me, I had the vegan ones. I barely even broke into them. They were fine from day one. But when it comes to these boots, I highly recommend soft leather all the way. And also, if you wanna get a cheaper version, a lot of people do get like the smooth leather version and they realize they can't stand it. You can go to Depop. Usually there's a bunch of like Jadens on sale that are most likely the smooth leather, but you can pick those up. They're on sale and feel free to break into them. They're yours. When it comes to durability, I have to give it to the Jadens just simply because of how thick the heels are. They might last just a little bit longer, but also when it comes to making your boots last, it's up to you. Simply, it's up to how you take care of your boots. How do you maintain it? Are you putting some conditioner on it, let's say semi-annually and things like that, so your boots can last even longer? I'll say with durability, it's up there, but the Jaden just get a little notch. Also, people say that the Jadens are a bit heavier because of the soles. Personally, I did not notice it, but for me, the biggest thing that I can say, it can also be a workout since they're saying that it's heavier. So whenever you do wear it, you get a nice little workout with your boots while you're looking good. That's a win-win. In conclusion, the 1460s and the Jadens are both good boots. The 1460s is a classic timeless boot while the Jadens are more of a modernized boot. Ultimately, the choice between the two comes down to your personal style and your need. And if you're gonna get them, I made a video on how I get a pair of Doc Martens annually for free. Check it out, it's right here.